so that was not that <laughs> Tit 
pre-show, The Cleavage. Oh. <laughs> Looks like someone used to go in bed and watch out. Well, time to go back to 2015. What was the process of making the show? Did you ever want to call it something else? We almost called it, what did you want to call it? We almost called it All or Nothing. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I find that phrase deeply triggering. Yeah. I would not accept that. I would call it All or Nothing. But also, we thought our two game channel coders in this show is all about that. This time we're going to call it Tit, Tit Cleave and the Cleavage. So <laughs> we just got to be like hashtag TI Dan and Phil and then someone went hurt Tit and we went oh. <laughs> <laughs> Deeply Ooh. uncomfortable. Okay. How do I cope with turning 25? Oh. Really motherfuckers. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. You dropped it. Okay. Um, hi. Um, hi. Will you pretty, pretty please do your best impromptu rendition of the lizard song? Uh, if I don't remember it, that's because I'm not a fucking nerd. Okay. <laughs> Lizards, they're my favorite tiny reptiles. So scaly. Lizards, I'd freak out if I saw you in the bath. Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which one of Bill's phrases is your favorite? Ooh. Um, like, <laughs> I like when he just goes, mm, grousy, grousy. <laughs> like, All right, calm down, bitch. Okay. <laughs> when you're learning a new strategy board game, who reads the giant rule book? Not me. <laughs> I'm, I'm like that meme when someone's trying to explain something and your mind just goes to the little kitten running through. <laughs> <laughs> Well, usually just like watch a YouTube video of someone explaining it and then read the book and then be like, we got it wrong the first time and then we'll just know. You gotta just waste four hours by doing it horrendously okay. wrong first. Travel tips for visiting Tokyo. I would say wear trainers because there's so much walking. I think it's like. You're gonna be walking. 29,000 steps when I was in uh, Tokyo. See, Phil only does 200 steps a day, so that's yeah. like, it's, it's big. And also, it's important. TikTok has made some places insanely busy. So if you've seen something on TikTok, you might be like, oh. Avoid it. Avoid it. I am getting a cat next week. Help me name them. If you call them Susan 2, I will die. Susan 3. How involved are you guys in the set design of your tours? Incredibly. Yes, we basically do like a shit drawing of them and then yes. we give them to someone and they're like, okay, well, if we make that out of steel, everyone would die. Yes. So we're going to turn that into something that won't implode. Yes. But great idea. Maybe yeah. want to lots of TVs, 90s vibe. by drawing on paper and when I handed it to an architect they were like okay let me just take over now buddy but I like where you're going okay <laughs> to send my sincere thanks to Beyonce. <laughs> yes, honestly, same. same. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Who dang? Which of you is Pesto? Yeah. I think I am who dang. I'm pesto. obviously Pesto. <laughs> Hello. I'm a giant. I'm gloomy. This guy wants you to throw fruit at him. It's good. Yeah. What? I do. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mogging or mewing? 